And in a case of awful timing, as we watch this growing threat to our national security, we today heard the Department of Defense announce that thousands of U.S. soldiers are being let go, some of them literally getting pink slips on the battlefield. Pete Hegseth is a Fox News contributor, a veteran of the Iraq and Afghanistan wars, and CEO of Concerned Veterans for America. And so, Pete, that is because of budget cuts. And we are, we are pink slipping our military as the president asks Congress for $3.5 billion to help illegal immigrants who have crossed our southern border uh, with no concern for our law. So he wants $3 billion for them, but he can't find the funding for our military as we see a terror group with its hands on uranium. And there's apparently a war going on in Israel, which we're going to get to next. Yeah, so, so let's get this right. Islamists are on the march. We're spending $4 billion on the border that we've said we otherwise don't have for defense. And we're sending pink slips specifically to captains, captains and majors, guys and gals who entered the military to fight the very Islamists we've been fighting in Iraq and Afghanistan today. So we're sending pink slips to guys on the battlefield in Afghanistan right now telling them we no longer need your services, but we're willing to spend $4 billion on illegals on the border. That $4 billion, Megan, if you splice it, could pay for eight brigade combat teams for 40,000 of the 80,000 troops we're reducing. This is a matter of priorities and then holding our eyes up, holding our hands over our eyes, wishing away an enemy and cutting the very troops who would who would be the linchpin of fighting them if and when we need them. That's the thing, because when these budget cuts were approved and they were approved on a bipartisan basis, it, it must be said, uh, things weren't quite they didn't look quite the same as they do right now in the Middle East, Pete. Well, no, they didn't look the same, but I, I think it was willful blindness to think that we, we wouldn't have problems in light of the policies this administration has pursued, basically policies of weakness and retreat. But there was not overwhelming bipartisan support. I mean, many on the right have recognized that when you reduce your military this deeply, this dramatically, and this in such a draconian way, you're going to see just chops to very capable aspects of that. And it rolls downhill, Megan. We don't make tough decisions about, uh, about our higher officer corps. It turns it out to be captains, lieutenants, sergeants who take the brunt of these cuts, and but those happen to also be the brains and the guts of this generation's fight against folks like ISIS. We're going to need that expertise again, and we're stripping it out of our military right now in favor of dependency programs, uh, money to the border, uh, and transforming America, and it's a, it's a damn shame. Pete Hegseth, thank you.